what's up guys welcome back if you're new to this channel make sure you hit that subscribe and that bell notification right next to it so that you can get notified for new videos coming out all right well today i'm taking it a different direction it's not actually a food review or travel it's actually a tech review i really like this product it's a dash cam i'm no dash cam expert i just really like this product it's the on dash n2 pro okay so it's a tech review um, if you want to check out the prices or compare prices and check out the product click on the affiliate link below to uh, amazon it, it, it it does support the channel uh, by uh, giving us a little percentage back uh, if you purchase anything. It does not cost you anything extra. All right, so stand by for the unboxing and the review right after this. All right, so as I've mentioned, it's the OnDash N2 Pro by Vantrue. And so here we go with the unboxing. Under the plastic, the very outside of the box is just a sleeve, so I tried my best not to tear that. First thing straight out of the box, quick start guide, which is awesome. Enjoy your product. Cool. I sure will. Let's put this to the side and see what's next. Uh-huh. I follow us card. Hmm. We'll see. So this got me wondering. A share card? Hmm. Makes you think. Is this kind of bias? I'm not sure if uh, I'm supposed to share and talk good about it or what. Uh, the good old user manual. I guess they saved this as the best for last. Alright, let's get to the good stuff. Okay, here we go. This must be the dash cam. Yeah, it is feels nice these buttons are are nice and clickable um, buttons are plastic the body is also plastic uh, there's no or what it seems like it is no metal on the body and that was the microphone and uh, this must be the front of the camera has the brand there or the version N2 Pro brand was in front. There's the rear cam, and uh, look at here, USB Type Type 1 or A. It's pretty. That, that connection is pretty old, but yeah, it's looking pretty good. Feels nice. Hopefully, it uh, performs as uh, as it feels. And over here, we have a like a. P button, K button. Down here we got the toggle menu power. And uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. So far so good. Let's put this aside. Uh-huh. Look at here. We got some more accessories on the bottom of the box. It was like a secret compartment. Let's check this out. first open it up oh here's the uh, suction cup with the uh, mount connector and uh, release grip and it also has a uh, USB connector there on the side and this looks like it locks in uh, on the angle that you want to set the camera with let's move on to the next Good old USB cord to that USB uh, one 
full, full technology, but male to male, regular USB to uh, USB to the uh, mini or yeah, mini USB. And then uh, look at here, it's the car charger. I can tell from outside the package, but uh, let's check it out. hidden latch so as you plug it into the uh, car cigarette lighter you can also charge a USB to it that's uh, pretty convenient I like it hmm also this cord seems pretty long so you can be really creative to uh, run this cord throughout the uh, car from the windshield cool Looks like we're gonna have to remove that latch so we can get to the memory card slot. Give this a try. I find it pretty difficult to um, open up this latch. I don't want to break it or anything. Should have just probably just read that manual a little bit better. Here we go. Thing just doesn't come off. Oh, you twist it. <laughs> well, sh should have kept reading the manual. All right, so back to where we were. Here's the memory card slot. It's one of those micro. That's what she said. And uh, must be HDMI. I'm not sure. Um, uh, one of those blokes that uh, doesn't really read the user manual very much very well I can read trust me but uh, I just don't so with my first try I'm trying out the 64 gig it's a v30 this can actually record 4k I hear if um, you're gonna use a 64 gigabyte card then you need to format it to fat32 and uh, I'm just gonna give this a try first to see if it'll read all right, so that didn't work, even though I formatted to XFAT. So I'm gonna try this cheaper card. It's a 64 gig as well. It's one of those Ultra Plus, but it's a U1, um, good enough for uh, 1080 HD. So here we go. All right, powering it on again, and no. Yeah, that sucks. So this time I'm going to go for even a cheaper card, this is 16 gigabyte, and it's a U1. Um, it's actually one of those that came with my um, Mavic Air drone. So I formatted this to uh, FAT32. It gave me the option from Windows 10. So here we go. We're going to give this one a try. I'm starting to get uh, tired of fumbling around with these memory cards. So struggles oh hey look it works yes we've got light people and it's automatically recording you see that red beeping dot on the left corner top corner there that means it's, it's automatically uh, recording you have to hit that ok button to make it stop so remember instead of fumbling around format your card to FAT32. If you don't have that option or whatnot, get get a card that will allow you to, or else you you stress out like I did. And it gets pretty old, here we go. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep uh, most of these on default, but I'm gonna choose uh, dual uh, 1080 for the front and rear camera. So with the uh, loop recording setting, I'm putting it at five, so every segment of recording, it'll it'll um, start over on recording at 5 and then there's this G sensor which is pretty awesome uh, it's gravity sensor so it's like if you got an accident or something it's the sensitivity and so I'm leaving it at default the factory default is uh, medium and here is the audio I'm going to have that on so next up is the uh, parking mode and um, 
I initially turned it off, but then um, I turned it on later and I don't know and see how it works. And then exposure, I just left it as, as zero. So this is all the um, displays, like the logo and any license plates or anything like that, GPS. Um, so I just kept everything on. Time lapse, no. Power off option. I'm gonna check that out. system setups we got the uh, date and time so I'm gonna set this really fast All right, so I do apologize the focus is not very well on the screen but here is the auto LCD turn off I got it turned off in like three minutes and um, you know what I, I find really amazing is that this camera has the ability to have HDR what you don't know what HDR is is high dynamic range it takes the overexposure underexposure and correct and combine it so since I set it at 1080p resolution it's still the same size resolution but with all those three exposures together it just brings out so much more detail and that's that's I, I think that's just pretty awesome and, and where 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 your money pays or you know it, it really pays for that uh, function Alright, yep, here's the two uh, video files that automatically started to record as I plugged it in. I just go into uh, files and there's the event, normal and photos. Event uh, is something like you know, I got triggered by um, by the G sensor because uh, the camera thinks uh, there's an accident or, or something you know, really important that will not delete and, uh, from the camera. Uh, normal is just when it normally triggers to turn on. And photos, uh, I think while it's on and if you press the P button, there it is again, uh, it'll take a snapshot. Alright, so it's time to um, set it up in the car and check it out and see how we like the position of the uh, camera. It's pretty awesome how it has this uh, uh, dual camera to record inside the car and whatnot in the auto, audio. Excuse me. Alright, so here's early morning. We're talking about nearly 7.30 and uh, that's what it looks like with the infrared and as it gets um, brighter in the environment it uh, turns to uh, color which is pretty cool kind of goes from black and white into red until uh, night vision until uh, the color kicks in it's just like that it has no delay so if there was any uh, any event that uh, needs to be recorded it could capture it immediately without any long period of flashes or anything like that so if you pay attention to right here where it's like pretty much black and white and then it turns into color just like that pretty awesome and you see how much the color is uh, so vivid and all the details that's because of the HDR what I was just telling you about if you don't know what HDR is uh, there's a bunch of videos on YouTube about high dynamic range I know about it because of uh, uh, photography and here's what it looks like in the afternoon with the sun blaring right at you um, even even the, the, the windows aren't even that clean, the windshield is not that clean and, and with that sun ray just right in your eyes, just, you can still see everything, it's just freaking awesome. So as you can tell my verdict, I really like this camera, it's, it's just complete, superbly, extremely very very awesome to have especially when when you when something happens the police officers not even gonna 
take up on anybody's words. We got this dash cam, so there you have it. There's my verdict. I like it. Leave comments below. Make sure you remember to check out the um, the um, affiliate links to Amazon for this product. I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Um, and again, make sure you subscribe. So enjoy. Like I've been alive I'm trying to find where I identify One time for the girl that got away Two times for the bub I'm about to spray Three times for the power that I pray to Are you up there? Can you hear?